Over 100,000 people have a stroke in the UK every year, and one in four of these strokes happen to people of working age. Around a third of stroke survivors of working age have to give up their job following their stroke, and a further 15% have to reduce their working hours. The NHS long-term plan recognises the importance of tackling the growing impact of strokes, and vocational rehabilitation will play an important part in this plan. In this animation, we'll explore a model for stroke vocational rehabilitation and introduce a toolkit of helpful resources and templates. The importance of vocational rehabilitation has been highlighted in two policy documents. The National Stroke Service Model introduced integrated stroke delivery networks. These drive improvement in the availability of high quality rehabilitation and ongoing community care. The second policy document outlined a national service model for integrated community stroke services, known as ICSS. An ICSS coordinates transfer of stroke survivors from hospital to their home and provides community-based specialist stroke rehabilitation for up to six months and beyond. This includes support to return to work and wider vocational rehabilitation services. Research shows that the longer people are off sick, the less likely they are to make a successful return to work. After a six month absence from work, there is only a 50% chance of making a successful return. Access to good work helps to improve self-esteem, mental well-being, and provides an income, leading to a reduction in healthcare needs. For these reasons, vocational rehabilitation support is a core component of stroke rehabilitation. It can help stroke survivors make the most of both paid and unpaid employment and education opportunities. Vocational rehabilitation should include a comprehensive range of clinical and vocational interventions that support stroke survivors to return to and remain in employment. These services should be offered as a personalised, needs-led patient experience. To promote good practice and minimise gaps in service provision, all professionals and services should work together as a local and regional network. Where available, occupational health departments are an important part of supporting people back to work. The model for stroke vocational rehabilitation features three tiers, each focusing on a stroke survivor's level of support needs. Level three is aimed at those who have recovered quickly from their stroke, or those whose condition does not affect their ability to return to work. Their needs can be met through supported conversations, advice, information, and signposting. Level two is aimed at those who require a little more support to return to, remain in, or have a dignified exit from work. These individuals may have more complex employment or health circumstances. Level one is aimed at those with higher levels of support needs. These individuals may require significant modifications within the workplace or support to change career direction following an exit from their previous role. Don't be too fixed on the tiers as stroke survivors' needs will change over time and they may move up and down or straddle more than one tier. It's also important that employers are engaged with as part of the vocational rehabilitation process. They need to understand their own responsibilities and legal obligations to help their employees back into work at the right time. The Vocational Rehabilitation Resources Toolkit contains further information about the model for stroke vocational rehabilitation, as well as templates to download and use, and key resources relating to each level. The toolkit is just one element of good vocational rehabilitation practice. You also need to consider training needs, clinical supervision, and communities of practice. 
in order to support ongoing development of both staff and services. For more information and to access the model and toolkit for stroke vocational rehabilitation, please visit the eLearning for Health website and search for Stroke VR Toolkit.